What is happening, everyone? Power to the Buster here. And I don't have a package anymore, so I can't show you guys. But we got Samuel L. Jackson in the house tonight. Samuel, who looks roughly painted in the face. Looks nothing like it. Look at that blue on his mustache. You know what? It looked like it like a custom figure. But at least they're giving it ball spot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. And believe it or not, my son wanted this. Um I wanted it personally just to you know be a completionist. But there he is. And if you're wondering why his arm is off, it's to show you guys that Mattel, I guess, they're like, we ain't playing games. We go get you Samuel Jackson with a bloody arm. But here's the arm that goes on there. Now, this guy is a part of the Amber Collection. I'm pretty sure it says Amber Collection, but I don't have the package anymore. But he came in the same type of package as Jeff Goldblum. But he didn't come with any amber. So no yellow P for him. Um, he did have a severed hand. Uh, no dinosaur to present the hand. Uh, how would this even go if this was... So, yes. <laughs> but yeah, um, he came with the computer for his uh, IT tech thing. Let me get this in here. You know what they should have did to have that stick on? Have like a bone sticking out or have that socket, but it pretty much supposed to be the bone. That would have been pretty cool. But this arm has no articulation or anything. It's just there. Computer is a, yeah, screen accurate, I'm pretty sure. Animal padlock. Uh, show the Jeep. Uh, it's more of a rubbery plastic. I like it. You can use this for plenty of things, especially 90 displays. You just need a desk because he didn't come with that. He did come with his Tech Gear headset, which looks pretty cool, I would say. But man, I mean, I kind of see Samuel, but then again, I don't. I don't know what's going on with the back of that head right there. It's like, you could have put some hair right here and right here. Maybe he had that giant square noggin bottom. But has this Jurassic Park badge. Again, this is great. And I paid $10 for it. So I'm not too upset. <laughs> if I paid $20 and me not being a super Jurassic Park guy like my son is, I would have been uh, like, yeah, I wish I didn't pay $20 for this. But I didn't. Um, as for swappable hands, yeah, he does have swappable hands. So that comes out, and this is his hand that you swap them out with. It's a holding hand, which I'm guessing you hold his headset with. <clears throat> and, yeah, he didn't really come with too much. I mean, I guess the computer was a nice touch. But you get the standard articulation that Jeff over there has. So, the torso... And swivel, arm go out, up and down, swivel, hinge, swivel, hinge, out, forward, back, thigh cut, double knee. Uh, is there a pivot? No, no pivot, but it does swivel up and down. So, yeah. Oh, also, it was double elbow. Didn't even mention it. And head goes... Up only a little and down only a little. Does have left and right. So me personally, with these lines, obviously we have that guy. But um, I am going to go for uh, Grant. Um, just the main players. Grant, uh, the lady who name escapes me right now because it's 3 a.m., <laughs> and uh, maybe clever girl I might go for that guy too I don't know but ultimately in the end it's likely going to go to my son and yeah oh 
Also, this is a big one. I forgot to even mention that I had it. I might need to adjust the camera one second. this guy on here oh my god colossal what do they call this the demon one man now this is cool and everything so this is our third giant dino. Again, I'm not the dinosaur guy. My son is. So all the actual names and stuff, he would know. I think they call it the demon or the devil. Uh, I don't feel like putting you guys on another quick pause to go grab the box and see what his name is. <laughs> because again, I just thought about this right here, right now. But yeah, this thing is cool. Um... I always call them chicken arms, but surprisingly, they don't look as bad on this one. But like if you got it like this, yeah, it looks hilarious. But if you like fold them down, it's not as bad off. Look at that. I got to actually go up and check it out. Now, with all these Mattel dinosaurs, I have an issue with their ankles, swivels over time getting loose. Hopefully that's not the, well, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be the case at some point, but right now, it's not an issue. So yeah, I wonder if they have the name of the dinos on here. Nope, just the JP mark Look for the mark, the JP mark for Jurassic Park. <laughs> so yeah, give you guys a better look at them. Look at the detail. They put a lot into these big ones. Surprisingly, the one that had the least amount of detail so far to me was Indominus Rex. Now, here's where I have an issue with what Mattel is doing. So, they gave us this, right? Right. For Camp Cretaceous. Uh, I'm sure they're going to re-release the T-Rex, um, but without the sound, because the one we have has sound... These don't have sound, and then Dominus Rex don't have sound. They made a colossal Indoraptor. Okay, that makes no sense, but fine. They also made a colossal blue. That really makes no sense. That should be illegal. <laughs> like, really. They should have, if anything, made a colossal uh, Spinosaurus. Now that is where the money is. Mattel, if y'all watching my videos at any point, Colossal Spinosaurus should be the next one. Don't don't give us like a Colossal Stegosaurus or something weird like that. Because even the, uh, I wound up returning the Branchiosaurus. <coughs> when I returned it, I sold it. I couldn't return it because I couldn't disassemble it to sell it. But these guys actually scale well with this line. So, yeah. Now, we also got this guy. Because if you guys remember, the ankles was broken on this one. So this one might go up for sale or something. I don't know. But he's been playing with it, even with the messed up uh, swivel feet. So I might just keep both. But, um, this one size is good for the smaller three-quarter ones or whatever that size is. But this guy needs to be scaled up to this. And we compare them with these. Ugh. They're also bringing out the Jeep. 
which is for the three quarter inch ones, which I want to say will actually not scale as bad with this, but we will have to see if I actually find it in the store. Get into Jurassic Park now in Jurassic World. I did not know how extreme the fandom was <laughs> and how hardcore you guys are. You are almost as bad as the Sonic fans and the G.I. Joes, which I still say G.I. Joes are worse. I actually come across these things, but if I'm actively looking, I'm not going to find them. And why do you look so wet right here? You guys see that? I don't know what that is. It's not wet. It just looks wet. Huh. Interesting. It gives it a little bit more realism. But, yeah. So, this guy scales well with that guy. So, I definitely will be getting more of the 6-inch guys. Oh, wait. Let's try something. Look at that. Ain't that a beaut? No, no, no. Ah! You know what? That's going to be the thumbnail right there. Wait, let me get my finger out. <laughs> or have it like this. Because he, he's so cool, he just don't give a fuck. So, bam. Thumbnail right there. But yeah, that is it, guys. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Mattel, if you are watching, or if anybody got any connection to Mattel or whatever, have them make a colossal Spinosaurus. Please. Jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Power to the Buster. Out. See ya.